Hello, no prizes for guessing where I am today. William Shakespeare Land, um, hence the title of the video. Now I'm here for their match at Stratford Town against Barwell. It's a, this is always a tongue twister for me, Southern League Premier Division Central match, step three. And today, for once, I'm joined by someone, my best mate, Thunder. Say hello, fans. Okie dokie, so let's get into the ground. So we got to the ground and uh, to our amazement, Jed McCrory, the Stratford Town Chairman, has left these for us, which allows us to have a good look around the ground, which we fully intend to do. So for this week's pre-match interview, I've been joined by Stratford Town Director, Paul West. Now, Paul, um, since you've been here, um, I believe it's been for four years, what has yeah. changed? The, you know, where, where do you start? Um, yeah, crikey, you know, obviously known Jed uh, quite a long time now, uh, when he was of its chairman at Swindon, to that's, be fair. Yeah, that's Jed McCrory, yeah, the chairman. Jed yeah, Jed the owner and, and chairman. Um, obviously um, kept in touch, good friends outside of football. Um, and I think, to be fair, there was lots of little things happening. Yeah. Probably advise him at first initially not to get too involved in non-league football, uh, being involved in. Oh, uh, what? Well, I, I need to probe that. <laughs> in your opinion, why is yeah, that? Yeah. Well, no, it's tough. It's tough, and I, I think obviously if, if you've been involved in, as he was, obviously owning Swindon Town, yep, uh, being involved at that level um, to come down to this level, it's very, very difficult. You take your hat off to anybody that's involved at non-league level. Is it a rude awakening, so to speak? Um, I wouldn't say it's a rude awakening, but I think he's he's understand. If he didn't quite understand it then, he yep. certainly. Understand understands it now but now he's flourished I mean what he's done here since he's been in has been nothing short of unbelievable really he's, you know from just the, the whole ground and as you've just seen the facility oh, uh, but, facilities are magnificent yeah, I have to say yeah the pitch the infrastructure people don't really see that yeah um, and that's difficult when you're in non-league I'll take my hat off to anyone that's helping out in non-league because I'm totally converted but about you um, obviously a director here what would your role particularly be well, quite a year. It's um, look at the end of the day. It, it's, a, it's just great to. If anyone wants your advice, you're there. Yeah. Um, ultimately, I've had the the pleasure to have played, coached, managed at this level. Paul's uh, been a pro footballer, no, by the well, way. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah we're trying my best, but anyway. Yeah, yeah. But what it is, it's um, experience, and, and ultimately, I'm not somebody who's going to come in and go over the top. It's not. It's like the beautiful thing with football, it's all about opinions. Yeah. Uh, but if you've got, you know, if you've had a bit of experience on the journey. It's always nice to be a, a sounding board, uh, not just for the players, uh, management, people within and around football. Football's always evolving. Clearly um, here to help, basically. Yeah, you're always here yeah, because yeah. you're not just that. The junior section, there's managing, coaching. You know, football's just such a wide uh, variety of things within the club. Yeah. Um, and like I said, because I've you know, been involved in it 30 years, from right from the start, junior football, non-league football, I've had a taste of full-time football. Yeah. You, you know, you might not. It's not always about the playing. It's the things yeah. you pick up, good and bad. Okay, yeah, okay. Well, thank you for your time then, no, Paul. Pleasure. Really appreciate that, pal. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. And nice to see you again, mate. Yeah. You too. Take care. See you. So, Barwell kicking off from right to left in red. Okay, score prediction time. I'm going with a slender 1 0 to the home side. Thunder, what do you reckon? 1 0. And this is what Mike thinks. Good ball, good ball. Oh. That needed finishing. Good effort. Good save. Rebound. Good. Get him a back post. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Don't miss that, I tell you. 
queuing it for that. Oh, oh. Threw me a dummy as well. Yeah. Great, great. Oh. Great. Just got it off his head. He's in, he's in. Great block. It's going to be a book in, yeah. Here we go. I've got a couple for keeping him. Oh well, it's taken 40 minutes for my prediction to go wrong this week. Mine's on. Good play. It's done well. Carved them out. Oh! Two in a minute. In two that was a lovely goal, though. Come here, the <laughs> well, another person's prediction has gone wrong as well. Go on, then. Go on. Oh, it's here! Yes! That's the key for that. Is it's got an assist. Great goal. It was a great bit of control during that goal, but I didn't film that. Oh, quality. Go on. Oh, good save, good save keeper. Game for everything. Well, that wasn't bad, was it? <laughs> two two. Half time then, 2 2. What a half. I, for one, was stunned when Barwell took the lead in about the 40th minute. Two quick goals, uh, but Stratford deservedly got their equaliser. In all truth, they should be in front, really, but uh, like I said, it's been a fantastic half, and I can't wait to see what the players serve up for the second half. <laughs> Still on. Oh, handball, oh, handball, oh. handball. Yeah. It's given it. Definite handball. Shoot! Shoot! Oh, unlucky. Oh, unlucky. <laughs> Dangerous, oh, dangerous. Yeah, oh, Probably could have hit first time. Yeah, she did, I thought. Looked in his own number nine. Oh. Fell over. Oh, he fell over. Everybody still in, still over. in. And ball. Yeah, he's giving it. He's going to give it. Oh, I've got it right there. Predicted it right. <laughs> it's great save. I don't know how he's managed to save it going that way.
Buns, 20 minutes to go then, 3-3. Three, three. What way is this game going to go? Either way. Yeah, thanks for that. Oh, we've got the target there. Oh, 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 about two minutes to go. Is that the winner? Oh, well done, keeper. That's just about time. So, with me after that thrilling 4 3 win for Stratford Town is their manager Gavin Hurran. Now, Gavin, um, I want to take you back to the 40th minute of the game where, well, two minutes before you were in cruise control, suddenly yeah. you're finding yourself 2 1 down. What was your thinking? Well, I just felt like you've just said there from minute one, we were the better team, we were totally in control, we were ahead, leading, or we really fully deserved. And, and look, we switched off. Um, we made two really bad mistakes and we got punished and this this level or at any level of football you make mistakes the way you do we'll get complacent or comfortable that which i felt we did do you're going to get um, hurt and credit to barwell they took the two goals but um for me it just shows the character what i've got in this dressing room yeah. not to go under not to go hiding uh, because it was it, it takes it out of you but to show what they did and keep applying themselves the correct way to then come away with the uh, three points was a uh, Amazing, really. Well, yeah, I mean, the uh, the equaliser right on half time would have changed your team thought. What was you saying to the team at half time? Yeah, I think I was going to probably, <laughs> it, it, it did, it changed my team talk. But I was I was really happy with how we played. That, that was the frustrating thing. I thought to everybody watching would have agreed. We played, we were in control, we played some good stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. And even if, we, no, it didn't change much. It was, look, guys, we, we've got to keep playing the way we are. We've got a game plan, we've got to stick to. And if we just, take out those mistakes that we, we've done, we'll be out of sight and uh, again it showed second half, I thought we were the better team, we got ahead but then made a mistake and the mistake yeah. cost us, uh, but look it's just nice to get them three points, again it's at home in front of all our fans, we were amazing again today, numbers are just growing each week and um, quite rightly I must say just by my experience, so um, you're, talking, yeah. you're alluding to a mistake, obviously it was a penalty. Yeah. Uh, did you see it? The, it looked like the ball was just about kept in before like it was crossed. It was uh, touching. I mean, they gave us a penalty from, for a handball, which again, so he, he, he's got to balance it out. And yeah. it was close to a ball. It was harsh. He didn't have his arms up anywhere. But look, it hit his arm and the ref gave the penalty. So he, he gave us one before. It yeah. was just a balance it off. So with like five minutes to go, and I must admit, I thought your your chance had gone. Um, they no. they. They had a little moment on the edge of your area where the bloke uh, weaved his way through and then just shot yeah, wide. Yeah. And so it looked like it was going to peter out as a draw. But uh, you found the winner. Um, where no, did that come this, from? And, and, well, we've been doing it all year. I yeah. mean, the one thing I've got in that dressing room now, they go to the, they go to the, 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 the final whistle, to yeah. be honest with you. So um, I, I knew until this whistle was blown, we were always going to keep going. And I always feel we're going to get an opportunity. We've got players on the pitch who can win games of football. Yeah. And, it, and it's shown again. And for, for me, I was over the moon with Big Cal. He's, he's been outstanding all season. What a player, by the way. First time we've seen him, mm. but uh, yeah. what a player. Great. And he's young, he's hungry, he's, he's, he's learning to open each week. And for him to get a hat trick against Barwell today was outstanding. I'm absolutely over the moon for him. And finally, um, so um, ambitions for the rest of the season? Yeah, ambitions we do. We take each game as it comes. I know you hear that, but. Um, from where we were 12 months ago to where we are now, we've come on absolute leaps and bounds. We've got a fantastic setup here, but on the field, we're, we're sort of doing it. And 
we've got to take, take each game as they come and, and try and keep putting them points on the board and hopefully, who knows, towards yeah. the end of the season, if we can be in and around it competing, that's all we want to do. Well, um, I, yeah, I, I second that. I mean, what I saw from your team today, I don't see why you can't be fighting near the top of the table. But um, anyway, Gav, thank, uh, thank you for your time, mate, thank and you congratulations on the win. <laughs> right. Thank you, everybody. Cheers. So Gavin, over my shoulder now, gone to the rest of his media commitments. Oh, here comes Jed, the chairman. Very happy chairman. Don't tell me he's camera shy. He is. Camera shy. You're great camera shy. Do you have a nice day, lads? It was fantastic, Jed. I just want to say thank you so Seven much, Val. Yeah, no, that was brilliant. Do you enjoy it, though? Yeah, they definitely. After you. Yeah. Come back whenever you like. We'll do, Jed. We'll come back. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, Cheers buddy. Not only will I come back, um, I strongly, uh, what's with a whistling voice? Um, I strongly recommend that uh, you guys should uh, come back. Fantastic uh, treatment for us two today. Uh, one of the best days of football I've ever had. Um, I'm going to wrap it up now by saying don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And next week, I'm open to suggestions where to vlog. So until then, ta-da.